In 2001, when the French electronic duo Daft Punk released Discovery, few who fell in love with it could imagine the thread it would lace through pop music and pop culture. From providing Kanye West with one of his greatest samples, to foreseeing the new wave of futurist pop that would arrive within a decade, from Janelle Monet to Robin, Discovery's sleek grooves and sly songcraft made Daft Punk into dance music and pop icons. Not to mention robots. One more time. One more time. Released as a single four months prior to Discovery and a global dance hit, was the album's startling opener. Sung by the New Jersey house music singer-songwriter Romanthony, Daft Punk had wanted him on their debut album but couldn't make a deal. When they met at the 1996 Winter Music Conference, they discovered their fandom was mutual. Inviting him to sing, quote, because he makes emotional music, said Guy Manuel de Homem Cristo. Romanthony also sings the album's closer, the deep house homage, Too Long. At last, the long way is over, the weight is off my shoulders, I'm taking off control, Superheroes, with its classical arpeggios, exemplifies the album's epic feel. We wanted to make something that sounded like Queen's music for Flash Gordon, or like what you would hear when you're watching an old science fiction cartoon like Wizards, Thomas Bangalter said of the track. In turn, the duo dressed not in the relatively simple face masks of their previous album, 1997's Homework, but as actual robots. Being a robot is much more simple, Guiman said. Digital Love featured a sample of jazz funk keyboardist George Duke that sounded like Giorgio Moroder rewriting the riff from Layla by Derek and the Dominoes. It was the album's colorful triumph, a cheesy love song that dazzled like a fireworks display. For many fans, the album's peak is face to face. Co-produced and sung by Todd Edwards, a key architect of the London-bred Speed Garage style, later redubbed UK Garage. Todd's extraordinary production signature, using dozens of microsamples to make up bursting patterns of sound, is displayed brilliantly on this track, also sung by Todd without any alterations to his voice. It's not your fault, I was being too demanding. Maybe the most important thing about Discovery is the way Daft Punk took the deeply uncool styles of their 70s and 80s youth, hair metal guitar solos, disco, arena rock, and irradiated them with a gleeful and earnest touch. Quote, electronic and house music has shown how it's possible to destroy the old rules, so it comes from an open-minded approach in the first place, Bangalter said. But it has started to set its own new rules, we wanted to destroy the new rules. Mission accomplished.